I walked into a traditionally decorated passageway, but because of the pandemic, the center of attention is now the automatic sanitizer. Then we walked towards the blue waters of the pool. I had almost jumped in and touched the water when I was pulled back. We saw some thatched huts and lounging areas. Then we reached the tea lounge area where there were different kinds of breads and tea. They even got Easter goodies. It got even sweeter with candies, cakes and pastries. We lounged here for a while but the heat started to get to me. So we headed towards the long awaited AC in the restaurant which ironically is called the Agni. I was running towards it to cool myself off when I got distracted by a beautiful flashy pot with flowers in it, an amphitheater, lots of greenery and flowers. As I walked on, I saw a statue hiding behind the columns. I tried to identify it but miserably failed. I also saw a lot of traditional worldly art on the walls. I realized soon after that the AC awaited me, so I quickly entered the place where some mud artifacts and some musical instruments caught my eye. While my family cooled down with chilled wine, I only had two measly pieces of paneer tikka and reduced my hunger level by 0.001%. Then we crossed over to the buffet area which had food and more food. After all, my hunger was still ravenous. Sorry I can't show you the food video because I was busy eating. You can salivate by looking at these rasmalais and mud pie. With the aim of digesting food, we walked into the greenery once again. We saw quite a few thatched houses and palm trees. We were surprised by a peekaboo fountain in a lotus pond. After this, we unfortunately had to leave this pretty place. Our car arrived and we moved at a slow pace towards the exit, trying to prolong the goodbye. But the row of these pretty flowers did wish us a happy journey and bid us farewell.